Yesterday, millions of people looked up to the sky, and this was because the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn could be seen. Both planets came within 0.1 degrees apart, something that is noted as happening once every 20 years. NASA said the following on their website, What has become known properly as the Christmas star, is an especially vibrant planetary conjunction easily visible in the evening sky over the next two weeks, as the bright planets Jupiter and Saturn come together culminating on the night of December 21st. In 1610, Italian astronomer Galileo pointed his telescope to the night sky, discovering the four moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. In that same year, Galileo also discovered a strange oval surrounding Saturn, which later observations determined to be its rings. These discoveries changed how people understood the far reaches of our solar system. Thirteen years later, in 1623, the solar system's two giant planets, Jupiter and Saturn, travelled together across the sky. Jupiter caught up to and passed Saturn, and this was in an astronomical event known as the Great Conjunction. End quote. Others, however, allegedly saw something strange during the event. UFO groups have been posting photographs of a strange-looking craft that was seen during the conjunction, with some saying that they were glad that they found the photos as they too thought they'd seen something during the event. Those who've seen the images have called the object a giant triangle, a craft that is well known in UFO circles for being one of the most commonly sighted crafts. The photos haven't been seen by many people, but those who have seen it agree it matches the typical triangle-shaped UFOs. Black triangle UFOs are a type of craft that has been seen in our sky for years now, and after years of research the most likely answer is that these crafts belong to our military. However, even though some believe that it's our military that owns these crafts, there's still many unanswered questions. For example, how are they able to travel at the speeds they do? How are they able to use camouflage tank? And how can they hover motionless in one area without making a sound? It's these questions that have led some to say they think that these crafts don't belong to us. After all, we currently don't have any aircraft that's able to match what these crafts do. These black triangles are hundreds of years more advanced than our current tank. So where did these things come from and how are they able to achieve what they do? At this moment in time, no military has come forward to claim that it's them who's behind these sightings. But most UFO researchers think these black triangles are part of a secret program, and this is their latest creation. However, sightings and encounters have gone against this, saying that these crafts have been observed in our skies for decades. In fact, there's even photographs of these triangles that were taken above Italy in 1945. So that means that these black triangles are over 80 years old. How did we have this type of tech during a time when battles were taking place using basic airplanes? As mentioned, it's one of the reasons that UFO researchers believe that these things don't belong to us. In fact, even military officials have come forward in detail their encounters with them, demanding an answer for what they encountered in the sky. Many of these eyewitnesses would say that these triangle objects seemed interested in their crafts, Then, when they tried to fly closer to the crafts they suddenly vanished out of sight within seconds, easily being much faster than the planes during those times. Interestingly, this led to these objects being given the name of Foo Fighters. Strange technological advances were witnessed by United States airmen that claimed to have witnessed countless unidentified flying objects described as cigar-shaped rocket-like crafts and dark triangles on the late November evening back in 1944. The 415th Night Fighter Squadron reported seeing a number of peculiar sights along the Rhine Valley Ridge, north of the French-German border. As the Night Fighter Squadron turned to attack the craft, the lights faded and appeared to have disappeared from the region entirely. This was one of a countless number of military reports that described similar-looking, unidentified flying objects, with one of the strangest reports being the witness account of Lieutenant Samuel A. Kransny. According to Kransny's report, as he was flying, he noticed a large wingless cigar-shaped object with a reddish glow, 
floating alongside him just a few yards off the plane's wingtip, seemingly attached by an invisible wire maintaining a perfect distance and speed. Immediately Kransny went into invasive manoeuvres, and rolled the plane while dropping down to get away from the craft, only to witness the cigar-shaped object follow his manoeuvres perfectly, and maintain its position relative to his aeroplane. After several minutes of additional manoeuvres, Kransny said that the object suddenly faded in colour, and shot off at an incredible impulsive speed away from his aircraft. So it seems these strange triangle shaped crafts aren't anything new, and have been sighted by people for at least the last 70 years. Interestingly, one person even captured one of these crafts close to the moon. The individual who took the photograph said the following, While looking through my telescope, I was able to get a good view of the moon. I live in Dorset in the UK and down here we don't get many days where we can stargaze. However, this particular night was a good one. The moon was in clear view from where I was, so I decided to grab my telescope. I own a Celestron telescope and it's great for viewing the moon and planets. I didn't notice anything strange during my session, but when I got indoors and flipped through all the images I took, I noticed on one of them there was this strange looking object. To me it looks like a black triangle and though it looks interesting, I've never seen anything like it before. I think that it may have been a piece of debris or an insect. I'm certain it wasn't a smudge on the telescope as it wouldn't have been this detailed. I'm interested to hear what people's opinions are. End quote. So what do you make of the Triangle UFO? What do you think it is and who do you think is controlling them? Also, do you think the military have kept this tech hidden for the last 70 years? And if so, why do you think they haven't told the public about it? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.